Nicolas Cage has made 110 films. Today we're gonna be looking at Nicolas Cage, iconic characters and looks. It'll be an adventure! In less than 30 minutes, okay? Let's start now. The bunny is finally back in the box. And let's start with the first one. The first one is Nicolas Cage from the film Adaptation. As you can see, we have two Nicolas Cage for the price of one. They look pretty sad. I mean, it's Charlie Kaufman and his brother, so you know, I'm, I'm not surprised that they're sad, but like, let's just stay, say bubbles and squeal. Let's go with the second one, which is Nicolas Cage from Army of One. <laughs> It's this really weird old Nicolas Cage with a surprised face and like I really dig his hair. And uh, as you will see, we'll have a lot of different glasses on Nicolas Cage. And these ones, these old man glasses are pretty cool. And uh, I really like his vest as well. That's a really cool grandpa vest. I think I want to take his face off. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. This one is perfect. It's from Between Worlds from 2018. Of course I haven't seen the film. He's made way too many films. I'm not gonna watch them all. I'm literally sometimes gonna be criticizing just how ridiculous his looks are. Just look at this sweaty hillbilly Nicolas Cage and look at how he really nails it with those sunglasses. And look at his arm, it's just like, hey, you know, a Nicolas Cage. Are you not entertained? <laughs> I think this is the kind of camp Nicolas Cage that I really love and I think I could eat this peach for hours, yes! Oh my god, I thought this was photoshopped, honestly, like this is too perfect, I had no idea that Nicolas Cage could get this rip, but this was back in the 80s with the boy in blue, and 86 actually. I have no idea how old Nicolas Cage was, but he's pretty young and he's pretty toned up. Look at that Schwarzenegger body. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna put it in. I could eat this peach for hours. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's that kind of like peak Nicolas Cage. Look at that fucking bandana. Does he have an earring? It looks like an earring. Oh my god. <laughs> um, the next one is gonna be a Nicolas Cage from Colorado Space, which came out this year. And they still fucking taste like shit. You know what? And the performance from Nic Nicolas Cage is just a tiny bit of it. It's not the main part that makes the film really memorable. I think the visuals are a lot more impressive than what Nicolas Cage is able to do. So I think I'm gonna put it to Tool Up Honey Bunny because he's still, he is still oh, nice. cool looking Nicolas Cage characters, but uh, I definitely don't wanna take his face off. I don't wanna wear that face. So saying this is Conair, this is a classic Nicolas Cage meme. I think it's mostly used as a gif as well. I said, put the bunny back in the box. Oh, and it's just like, look at the beautiful hair. Plus his accent in this film is fucking amazing. And uh, this is perfect, campy Nicolas Cage. I think I'm gonna put it, um, just because uh, Malkovich is really good in that film as well. Malkovich, Malkovich. Malkovich, Malkovich. Malkovich, Malkovich. Malkovich? Uh, I think I'm gonna put in the category I could eat this speech for hours. Just because it's really good. Oh, also let's let's reorganize them. Let's reorganize them. I think this definitely is better than the sweaty Nicolas Cage. Go! Go there! Oh, okay, perfect. And uh, this is definitely more iconic than the sweaty Nicolas Cage. Okay, the next one is uh, Nicolas Cage from Drive Angry. I have no idea what the fuck happened to his eye. Do you meet Negan? Holy crap! You are creepy as shit. It's a ridiculous film. Because I think he's, he, he has that kind of losing your hair look. I think it's a cool, it's a cool character. I think it's a cool character. I, th I think it's ridiculous enough that I want it to take his face off. So let's put it here. But I think Grandpa is still winning for that category. 
Oh my god. Ah! This is definitely like one of my favorites. It's from Face Off. <laughs> but you could take so many different scenes from that one, but I think I chose the, the priest scene because it's so goddamn ridiculous and it's so weird. I actually dressed up as this specific Nicolas Cage once. In the name of Zeus Battle, this is the most perfect Nicolas Cage I've ever seen. Plus, that film is 100% just Nicolas Cage. <laughs> You've got twice the power of Nicolas Cage because you've got John Travolta who's learned all the mannerisms of Nicolas Cage and he's trying to replicate them, like it's insane. <laughs> and the next one is gonna be uh, Nicolas Cage from Ghost Rider. Damn, that performance was weird. Damn, that film is really, really weird. I mean, if you just look at that scene, that's all CGI. And look, look at his eyes, look at his eyes, oh my god. <laughs> What's going on with his eyes? <laughs> I think... I think, I think, I think. Should it, should it be a good this speech for hours? I don't think it's that iconic. I really like it, but I don't think it's that iconic. So I put it with, um, I want to take his face off. Just because it's not as, uh, as memorable when it comes to Nicolas Cage. You're going completely insane. Let's put it before Drive Angry. And uh, before Grandpa? Not before Grandpa, no. Uh, I have no idea what what the hell he's doing in this uh, in this film. I, I don't think I've seen Gone in 60 seconds. I think we should definitely definitely create like a new category for Nicolas Cage just doing weird things with his fingers and doing finger magic. And I think this definitely belongs in that category of just Nicolas Cage being really weird with his fingers. Just because I really like the bleached hair, but I don't think I want to take his face off. I would like to take his fingers off. I'm loving it. Tula, honey bunny, tula. Oh, this one is iconic. I have no idea what the hell is going on in this uh, in this picture. Uh, I think it's from the field film uh, Grand Isle, which is one of those like mediocre straight to streaming films that he's been in, I suppose. But... Have to believe that it holds some secret strategy. <sighs> this card is useless. Um, I think it's definitely a tula, uh, honey bunny. Oh, the next one is just like, uh, I mean, he's done that with uh, Rodriguez, I think, uh, when he was uh, making that double feature with uh, Quentin Tarantino, the Grindhouse double feature. And uh, it's, uh, who is it? And Nicolas Cage as Fu Manchu. Just because of the old Asian culture appropriation there, I have no idea what to say. Um, I mean, I even included the little... That, that woman's face in the corner, just be, just adoring Nicolas Cage in this role. Just because I thought it was f so fucking weird. <laughs> and <laughs> where should we put it? Do I want to take his face off? I definitely don't want, don't want to take his face off. But I think it's not one of those uh, forgettable roles. So I put it in Toll Hop Honey Bunny. And I think it's up there up there in the category because it's so weird and it's one of those roles that like even if it, it was there for like just a couple of seconds I think can you ever take that image off your mind? I don't think so. Oh the next one is actually a good one. There is a whole separate category I think of just like really good uh, Nicolas Cage performances but like he's really trying you know and Spider-Man Noir is one of those. And I think this is the only animated uh, performance that I've chosen because um, I think it's a bit of cheating when you don't include Nicolas Cage face. Plus, uh, it's a crime. You have to include Nicolas Cage. His face is everything. Without his face, the world would just implode. Good. It's not one of those iconic performances, so I think I'm definitely gonna put it in the bubbles and squeal. <laughs> the next one is his, uh, is his new film, which is called Jujitsu. I can fly too. <laughs> I mean, one, once again, we're, we're hitting the category of like Asian culture appropriation. I have no idea if he's memorable because I haven't seen the film. And I think he's not even one of the main characters. I think Two Love Honey Bunny. Two Love Honey Bunny. Oh, Big Daddy. Ooh, Daddy Nicolas Cage. Ooh la la! I love this film. This film is so weird and I think Big Daddy as like a, a Batman knockoff is really good. And just all the screen time that Nicolas Cage has with Chloe Moretz I think is just pure gold. 
and uh, he's definitely the one who is bringing out a lot of her performance as, as well. I'm gonna put it in the high tier when it comes to just good campy performance, especially when he's screaming, when he's being burned alive. But at the same time, it's like one of those uh, memorable uh, roles, you know? So yep. I think I could eat this beach for us. I, I think it's definitely not better than... Uh, that chest! Uh, I think this is Nicolas Cage from Lord of War. I put him here just because I like his sunglasses and that's the sunglasses category that you're going to be seeing in the next few <laughs> films as well. But I think it's definitely not a memorable performance, especially since in that film Jared Leto is just going completely insane. He's trying to outcage the cage. You can't outcage the cage! Bubbles and Squeeze. Uh, this is another category that I put there just because of the glasses. Patrick, say that again. That again. Uh, this is Nicolas Cage from Matchstick Man. I grew up watching that film and uh, it's not that memorable, but I look at that glasses, look at how he wears them, look at how he owns them. Damn, I want to be those sunglasses, boy! Uh, but just because it's not memorable, I'm gonna put it in the bubbles and squeal category. Oh, the next one. Oh, look at that grinning face. <laughs> oh, this is Nicolas Cage from Mandy. Oh my god, what a gorgeous film. Uh, this might not be one of the most iconic like Nicolas Cage roles, but this is 100% resting on his uh, shoulders because in that film it just goes batshit insane. Uh, so just because of that, I think I have to put it... Uh, should we dare? In the name of BUTTHOLE! Definitely not about Face Off though. Definitely not about that. Oh, look at him. Look at those eyes. Oh my god. Look at him. Is he, what is he biting? Is he biting his own... Is he biting like a napkin or something? Oh fuck, that's sexy. Sexy Nicolas Cage has to go in the, the category I could eat this page for hours. And I think this is uh, from Moonstruck. So this is the early career of Nicolas Cage. Let's put it right below that beautiful chest of his and above uh, Big Daddy. Even though Ooh, like, I like yeah. Big Daddy. Should I just keep saying Big Daddy for like 10 minutes? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never... Nicolas Cage from National Treasure. Once again, I chose this one just because of the sunglasses. <laughs> it, it does say a, a good amount of crazy stuff in the National Treasure. It's all right, that's enough. Beggars and mash. Sir? Bubbles and squeak. What? Smoke your pie. Sir? Hi, guys! That's it! Dismount the banister. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Here they are, standing in a row! So I'm gonna put it in the uh, bubbles and squeal forgettable uh, iconic rules. Oh, this one. Oh, damn! This is from Peggy Sue Got Married. Look at that beautiful hair. We were talking about hair before. We should have another category just for Nicolas Cage hair. Just like little pieces of hair. Uh, I mean, that look is just iconic. Uh, I haven't. I don't think I've seen Peggy Sue Got Married. I think it's on my list. Same with the next uh, one that is coming here. But just because of that look, oh damn, plot is so beautiful. Look at those cheekbones. I think I want to take his face off. Yeah, I want to take his face off. This is Nicolas Cage from Rising uh, Arizona. Look at that beautiful mustache. Look at that hair. Look at that chest hair. Who can grow so much chest, so much weird chest hair? There is a nuance. Never forget that this is weird chest hair. This is beautiful, well-groomed Nicolas Cage chest hair. But I think that's definitely one of those sexy looks. So I think I could eat this bitch for hours. Uh, let's put it right above Big Daddy. Should we dare? We there. Oh. So the next one is uh, your mom's chest hair. It's a 2011 season of The Witch. He looks a bit fat in this one. Just there is something wrong with his face, isn't it? I mean, his face looks really blo bloated. Was he drinking the day before he shot this uh, this scene? So I think it's too hot, honey bunny. So once again, we're in the magic category. How do you do that? Oh, magic. With this one, uh, which is Nicolas Cage from the Sorcerer, Sorcerer, Sorcerer? Patrick, say that again. Sorcerer? Sir? Okay, I cannot say that word, so I'm just gonna say the male equivalent of a witch. Which is technically a warlock, so fuck that. I like his hat. I really fucking like his hat. That's the only reason why it's here, plus I like when Nicolas Cage does magic, because he's uh, one of those perfect uh, magical creatures that we don't deserve. 
as just a human uh, species. I think I want to take his face off. Yeah, beautiful. Let's put him here. This is a film that I grew up with. Uh, this is the only reason why I put it here. Plus, look at his ridiculous face. Look at how disgusted he looks, but just like... Uh, because he has to change uh, this baby's diaper. I like his expression. Uh, this look uh, in this film is completely forgettable, I think. Uh, but just because of the expression in this particular image, I think I'm gonna put it in the Tool of Honey Bunny category. Uh, can we put it above the magic finger? I like it when the red water comes out. Ah! No. The next one is another weird witchy film, um, which is Outcast. I haven't, I've not seen this film, of course. Why would I see this film? And look at a beautiful hair. Wow, it looks like it could be in like a, in a L'Oreal commercial. Uh, so just because of that silky, beautiful fake hair. Uh... Two hours later. Uh, I yeah, below this one. Oh yes, this is Nicolas Cage from The Rock. Look at that beautiful silhouette of Nicolas Cage. I mean, if we have to judge the picture, we can't technically see Nicolas Cage's face, and as you know, I want to see the face. I want to see the face. I think I'm gonna put her in the tool up, honey bunny. Not the beast! Not the beast! In the name of Zeus's bottle, I could make an entire video of Nicolas Cage screaming in The Wicker Man. He must be the first and only Nicolas Cage that we think of um, for the future. Yeah, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, yeah. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, do you X, Y, Z? Huh? That's all you have to do! What? There is nothing I can add. Go up there. Uh, <laughs> right above Mandy? Do I want to do that? Look at how he's looking at me. Okay, this is our last Nicolas Cage. Really important choice. Drum roll! Because this is what is going to determine... Who is it? Everything that we said in the video, okay? Who is it? Who is it, Michael? This is really my joke. <laughs> this is Nicolas Cage from The Weatherman, and I chose it just because I thought it was really badass of seeing Nicolas Cage walking in just New York, I think it's New York, just with, with a bow and arrow. Like, there was nothing wrong with the world, and nobody's looking at him, it's just like so chill, you know? So just because of that, I think it's a, it could be in the bubbles in school, but as I said before, it would make the category automatically better, and we want that one to stay steadily mediocre. So the weatherman goes in the Tula Honey Bunny category. Where should we put him? That's the question. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, in between the two silky hair, especially because he doesn't have a lot of hair action, maybe might inspire Nicolas Cage from that film to get more hair. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. Oh my God, we did it. I just wanted to say, Thanks. I'm glad you came along. Partner. This is me trying to prank all the iconic looks that I've chose for Nicolas Cage. As you know, there are so many more, so just uh, send me your favorites uh, down in the comments. Papa's got a brand new bag of videos uh, scheduled until the end of the year and uh, for the, the weeks that will follow as well. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, share this video, leave a comment. My voice is slowly going away, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm Patrick and this is Torn Apart. Oh, hi, I'm Nicholas Cage and this is a song for you. My favorite things, my favorite things. Blue jeans, see a red haired girl. Sweet peanut butter, a slow burning candle. Cup of tea and a good boy.